Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandra for meeting for the first time, and today we're hanging out in my backyard. There is a lot of nature around, from the birds to the dogs to the chickens to everything. So just please keep that in mind. There also are a lot of wind chimes. I specifically set up my backyard to be a place that is magical and has its own energy, its own life to it. It had its own energy and life before I arrived and then I incorporated some things to make my backyard speak directly to me, also protection, et cetera, et cetera. So you might hear wind chimes howling in the background if the wind picks up, but I believe that that's just one of the many ways that spirit, the divine does decide to speak to us, especially when we're doing readings. So having said that, guys, we are here to do a reading for you. We're gonna be focusing on love and relationships. I'm gonna be throwing bones for each of you. There will be some tarot shuffling and oracle cards that I will be pulling from for the most part, I'm pretty sure. And not only do I wanna share a reading with you, but I ask for permission from this space to give some magic back to you guys right now. Um, I did hear the word um, like offering, so which I found so profound. Um, I felt that in order for there to be magic done in this space, it, it there would have to be an offering given in some way. So if this means that you leave an offering at your own altar for this reading time or this magical time, then please do it whatever you feel called to do, okay? But Spirit specifically said, if you're gonna receive magic from this moment, from this time together and from this space, then to absolutely leave an offering. But again, you're not obligated to receive that, okay? And I understand that many of you guys clicked on this reading um, sometimes in passing. So, you know, you don't know what to expect. So I'm just the messenger right now, passing that on. So we do have three options to help prompt your intuition to allow you to choose which message is gonna be the right one for you. This is, well, all these eggs are from my chickens. Each one of them represents fertility and ease and also feminine energy. Some, one, some of these might actually be fertilized and if that's the case, that would be the merging of masculine and feminine energy. I'm not entirely sure which ones those would be, or maybe it's all of them. I can check for you guys later. But um, yeah, so this is gonna be the first message for the first egg. This will be the second message, the second egg. And this will be the third message, the third egg. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, my loves. So these are the placement of your bones, so, and charms. The first thing that I am hearing and feeling is the word chasing. There's also this heightened sense of anxiety. To me, it's initially coming through as anxiety, but I want to use that word cautiously because spirit doesn't necessarily see it as anxiety. It's like energy at the end of the day, but it can come, it can feel like anxiety to us. So that's a very important message. If you're someone who experiences anxiety in your day-to-day -day life, it's true that, you know, you could have it could actually be anxiety, but it could also be a surge of energy. So Spirit wants you to really respect, or I just heard heed, pay attention to, to look closer to those surges of, of energy that is flowing through you that can, be, that can come across as anxiety or anxious feelings. I'm also, I also heard the word irritability, to respect your energy, your energy when it feels irritable because it's, it's Spirit's, got, Spirit's way of guiding you through, through something right now where they're trying to teach you they want you to learn. They also, Now they wanna talk about the fact that there are certain things that are supposed to be coming into alignment like a trinity into your life, especially when it comes to your financial security. I understand that we're here today to talk about love and relationships, but it's not that that isn't a priority to you. I'm sorry, it's not that 
that's not a priority to them. It's just that they're, they want to um, talk about the fact that they're bringing something into your life or a, a, alarming something, like making sounding an alarm when it comes to your finances, your career. Something is meant to enter into your life. Or begin to, I just heard like production or begin to be produced in your career sector of your life. And those things are coming together now. They want to start off by saying that before we start talking about love and relationships. There's also a lot of protection. They're trying to protect you from energies of the past. So this could be past relationships, past connections, things that are trying to call your attention to them. I just heard the word sever or like making a break. It It's like the intention to make a clean, like a break or to clean, like a make a clean cut between you and something of the past. But honestly, it feels like you're having difficulty with that or the energy is still uh, attached to you in some way and even growing. Spirit wants to block that energy out. They're trying to protect from allowing that energy to continue to grow and some, to, to grow. They're almost comparing it to like a cancer. They actually want you to work on um, prayer or intention, like your words, how you use your words to protect yourself when it comes to talking about things of the past. So let's say if you, like we're here to talk about love relationships, right? Um, let's say you have bad relations with your family, with, your, with a mother figure or whatever, right? Um, and you feel like that impacts you to this day, which no doubt that it does. Um, they want you to talk about it more in a position that of empowerment because not that it gives them more power with helping you release this energy and move past it and move beyond it into a more blessed space so you're not repeating past patterns, but it allows you to be more open-minded to their energy work instead of you operating from a space of like toxic cycle, something that you expect or a, a, a situation of the past that you keep saying now, like you're just like, my family dynamic is blah, 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 or this relationship is blah, 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 or if you had like abuse, abuse in the past. Spirit wants you to really close that out, not forget it, but forgive it, and then try your best to move forward because they're trying to protect you from energy of the past, but there's also this ability that you have to kind of Stay there respectfully, and they're trying to close that out. They're trying to close it out and, and shut that off from you. They're also, um, they want you to have a really stable foundation in all of your relationships, especially when it comes to love. I also was hearing the word chase. So you might be, um, chasing certain connections or chasing certain expectations when it comes to your relationships and your connections and spirit is actually saying that this is kind of dangerous for you to do that. Um, also, I'm jumping around a lot because they're really speaking right now. They want you to like fully express yourself. Like, do you feel comfortable? Do you feel safe? Do you feel like you are fully expressing yourself in your relationships or do you feel like you quiet yourself down in certain ways? Not only you're in a, you're in a season in your life right now where they're working you they're working you through self confidence, courage, your ability to self express. Not only in your love relationships, but also when it comes to money, finances, career, and even like not path and purpose in life, but like ways that your gifts can kind of contribute to others. That's kind of synchronistic or not synchronistic, but um, aligns with your path here on life or in life they also want you to stop looking into the future with relationships they want you to be just receptive to what they're bringing into your life because something major here is being birthed nova no no leave that alone sorry guys Something major here is being birthed. Do you know that, okay, they said, do you know that you are 
your lucky charm? Do you know that you are you are powerful? Do you know that? Do you believe that? I'm getting this strong sense that relationships, love, career, everything will improve once you put yourself not on a pedestal, but when you put yourself in a higher space. It's almost like you you're giving other people your power or you're second guessing your power or you sacrifice your voice, your desires in some way, maybe to appease other people. That's something, there's a connection to that in the past about like loss or expectations or whatever and they are actively working to make sure that that doesn't happen. There's a part of you that you don't even, let's say if you're like the most beautiful person in the room, right? You, you won't allow yourself, you'll like do things to kind of dim your light so you're not making others intimidated or... Yeah, they're really sounding the alarm to that. They do not... If people are intimidated, relationships are intimidated or threatened by you being charming or stunning... Um, I also heard looking after yourself. If you're not... It's not all about beauty and aesthetic, of course not, but it's also very important that you look after yourself, that you are doing things every day that make you feel confident, self-assured, that make you feel good. And there's a part of you that from, I don't know if there's like a loss, they're showing me like blood loss. So this doesn't necessarily mean that there was a loss of blood, so don't panic with that, guys. But, um... If there's a major loss or transition in your life, it's like, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like, sometimes there needs to be a major loss in order for there to be major healing to happen. And, the, and for example, think of the body, it needs time to restore. So you, you want to give yourself that ample time to kind of restore. Um, Spirit's also referring to the fact that this can be applied to a relationship. So if there is someone from the past or something from the past that's been lingering around you, there was a major loss in that connection. It could be a huge loss of trust or something that was laid onto, I don't, I don't, like laid onto the table that gets like sacrificed, that was chopped off, that was, had to let go, that had to be abandoned. And it, you, there, there, there needs to be time for things to replenish, to balance out, to even themselves out. And in the meantime, spirit wants to make sure that you are looking after yourself and speaking. And honestly, I'm getting this strong sense to not be too hard on yourself with the things that it is that you are learning how to say and the things that you're learning how to express right now because it takes time to learn these things. Some of you guys are absolutely afraid of being too... It's like, I'm sorry, but I feel like you're harboring some type of resentment or if someone disappointed you, you might be afraid to tell them the truth of how it is that you feel. Or if there's an expectation and they let you down, this is where you're like, I really love them, I don't want them to go, so I don't tell them the full truth. Or if there's something like, let's say everything is kosher and solid in your connection, but there's something here that you might, that spirit sees that it's time for you to express, that you need to express. You're, hide, you're hiding something. You're hiding something. And a part of it is because you don't want to be abrasive. You don't want to hurt others. You don't want to hurt the relationship, the connection. But in turn... And it will come with time, but you'll, it's, you just need to learn to speak that truth. The spirit is also referring to the fact that that's where this like chasing energy kind of comes, comes back from because you're not totally being all of your full self. And in a sense, you're either chasing a goal with this relationship or chasing love or chasing not, you know, not being abandoned or whatever the case is for everyone is different. But 
Spirit wants you to bring all the energy to the center, to you and your needs and what you want and not even on like a physical plane, but on like a spiritual and energetic plane, like what would it feel like? Also, they keep saying stop looking too far into the future. It's one thing to co-plan the future or manifest the future. It's another thing to look towards the future and try to race into it. That's just as bad as not moving from the past, you know, and staying too much in the past. They want you to just focus on the now. I'm also getting a lot of self-care um, I don't want to say retreat, but just incorporating more things in your day today experience that make them more beautiful, that make them more, because there's like a lack of beauty here or a lack of like, it's like you're almost not corporate, but like military or utilitarian is the word that's kind of coming through and spirit wants you to lean more into feminine beauty like ease, things that feel good, look good, it's going to make a huge difference, especially when it comes to attraction and magnetism. Also, make sure that you're honoring your, your beauty, that you're not trying to mirror what other people are doing or what's trending. This is what is yours, uniquely yours. In last message, Spirit says, let go of the past. Like, please just let go of the past. Give that to us and we'll lay it to rest. All right, I was gonna do an oracle reading, but I think that this was actually, this would suffice. Um, so when it comes to magic, I think it's beauty, beauty, self-courage, magnetism, like it's like you, the problem that I'm seeing here, like if, like working at my altar, right, or just putting my hands in the dirt and connecting with this energy, I would say that there's a, a vac, like a vacuum that's kind of pulling your self confidence. And once you fill that up, and this energy is not sucking your confidence out of you, then you can like every single piece of your life will start to change. But it begins with you. It starts with you. So in this moment, I set the intention. In this moment, I set the intention that those who chose this message, that they be filled, that they, that their spirit be full with courage and confidence and magnetism. Lay at their feet tools, resources, things, people, words, confirmations, affirmations to speak into them and to give to them the messages everything that they need in order to feel beautiful to feel stunning may anything that wishes to harm them or make them feel second or come second third fourth fifth to to others may that fall away i also speak the uh, a, a separation from the past, a disconnection from the past, any resentment that is being harbored in this pile, let it be completely released and forgiven. I allow the, the hardened ex exterior to fall away so that the soft interior can be can, can grow and to thrive. Give life to this pile, give life to these people. Let them feel beautiful once again, let them feel blessed once again, let them feel supported and encouraged. Give them peace, give them beauty. Give them discernment, the ability to see what it is that they actually want and what they wish to attract Allow them to effortlessly receive all of the blessings and abundance that it is that I see here for them, that you are prepared to give to them, that you have already committed to giving to them. And so it is. Thank you all. Moving on to the next. Uh, okay, darlings, if you chose, 
this egg. This is your reading. Give me a second. Hmm. I actually get a really strong sense, I wasn't expecting this, but I get a really strong sense that if you... If you are looking for love, you are very, very close to love right now. Like, if you're manifesting it, you're really close to... to like it is it is here you know if you are in a relationship the person that you it's you know you know that this is your person you guys have found each other i really want to emphasize the fact that in the spiritual realms and the spiritual planes if you you may not necessarily have the the physical manifestation of the relationship but when you're ready it's here and that's what spirit is showing that you've already made a connection you've already connected to this person especially you've already connected to this person as if it's here so you either met this person already you're in a relationship with them and you know that this is your person or you have already connected energetically like you can feel them you can feel them this person has exactly what you need this energy has exactly what it is that you need it's the perfect match the perfect complement i don't see i actually don't feel or see any barriers or obstacles to this to this connection the thing that i want to say is that there's some there might be like heartache I'm kind of getting a vision of the three of swords type of energy. There's some things that you are still resolving within yourself. Some aches and pains. Emotional like baggage that you still are processing. I think that you're, there's this fear that I'm getting that you're afraid of transferring that onto your partner, that that might be a blockage. But the truth is, is that it's not, not in this connection. It's your, this person doesn't mind the fact that you are emotional or sensitive or going through the motions of grief or that you're just a person who might have, let's say you're someone who deals with depression or you are still you know, you trauma is still um, something that you are migrating through or like making your way through. They don't mind it. They are very patient. There's, it's very healing. I think when this relationship, not I think, I know, when this relationship manifests or in your relationship now, you want to make sure that you're taking ample space for your for yourself and for your time even though you have found your person or even though you have you are manifested or manifesting your I'm gonna speak as if they're here because they are it's hard for me to pretend like they're not in the they're like showing up they're very much here so, so, <laughs> so even if you're single right now or if you haven't quote-unquote met your person you have already that's what spirit is showing and if you can't relate then this is definitely not your this is what what you are going towards like you are quickly going towards this but um, you're gonna want to make ample time and space for um, for your for yourself when you're in this relationship in this relationship you're gonna need to make extra time and space for yourself this is just time at your sacred space at your altar you might have a tendency oh no my cards just flew away you might have a tendency to when you get in a love relationship you might spend a lot of time with that person especially when you have so much in common with them or there's such a sense of famili familiarity like that you might forget your spiritual practice or you might be so happy like in the happy times or so enjoying the happy times and the good moments like it feels like you guys are at Disney World you know um, but spirit says that that's really good and they're not cautioning you against it they're just saying that you still at the end of the day 
are a very highly sensitive person and being so it's also very important that you're not making room for sadness but that you're making room for you to kind of like not bleed out but like express even the heavier emotions that don't just evaporate when you find love or when things are good and working them their way out like you still need also your 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 you having a path and a purpose does not mean that that is replaced by your ability to have love in this life they want you to have both so as this person is in your life make sure that you are going to your altar that you're still doing your work or if you make sure that you're journaling make sure if you're an artist make sure that you continue to create because there's heavier feelings here that's not they're not bad so I don't want you to take this in the wrong way it's not that they're like bad feelings because they're heavy they're just feelings so make sure that you are still giving yourself ample space to make sure that you're not getting emotionally constipated because you're you found your person or you're in love I also think that for some of you guys, there's a question about children. There's the energy of a child. Um, if there's multiple children, there's one child in particular that's coming through in this reading and it's helping you into the future in some way. So this could be a child that's going to present itself in the, in the future or it's something that you are to receive or it could be the spirit of a child guiding you into a blessing of the future or protecting the path of your future there might feel like a disconnection between you and them like it feels like they're so far away i'm not going to say that they're close because that's not the case they're where they're meant to be right but there's they're acting as like an angel like they're really acting as an angel a light a beacon and this is their way of, this is a part of their, of their path is to act as a guiding light into your, into the future. They're, they're, act, they're, it's like almost like the hermit card. Like you might not necessarily see them, but they're, because they're so covered by whatever, you know, um, but they're holding the lantern to help guide you to the future. And the future is, is very bright. Oh, um, I almost forgot this pile spirit wants to ask you to to ask for what you want or ask for what you're worth I don't know where this message is coming from but they're specifically feeling like you might be I just heard like you're not like you're you could ask like demand higher I don't know if this is like payment or they don't want you to accept less it's almost like you're settling for less I think it's because you have a good heart you're a good person but they actually want you to increase your price or increase your ask for more here. Let's say if you're hungry, right? This is where spirit says, go ask for more. Ask them to fill your plate. Ask for second, seconds and thirds. Don't hold back with that. They want you to be nourished in all the different ways. And you, that doesn't happen if you are, I don't say second guessing yourself, but not asking for what you want. They say that you deserve it. All right, well, that was a quick reading. Um, thank you so much. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Let's do magic. The magic I see for, for here is continued blessing over this connection, over this alliance, over this harmon harmonious relationship. Bringing the person that it is that you love, your soulmate, into protect them, protect them. And protect this connection. I also call in protection over the sacred space, whether that be journals, altars, the heart, a spot that you go to in nature, the beach, a quiet space, wherever that is. Protection over that space. Also feel called to bless your future 
If you are someone who is creating children or has a connection to child or children in general for the future, I ask for a blessing over that child, over the creation of that, over the womb. That there be a blessing from this moment on to every step that is this that they are to take now moving forward into the future that it be blessed that it be bright that it be loving that it be gentle that it be exciting fulfilling nourishing I also call in not only nourishment but second and third helpings of nourishment like amplify the blessing a blessing that continues to give thriving this energy is thriving I speak the energy of thriving over this over this group okay my loves thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will I'm sure see you in the next reading or next video or next channel message for the collective all right I'll talk to you later bye okay Franklin leave it okay guys if you chose the third pile. This is your reading. Franklin is clearly very curious about this pile. He's also left a lot of his hair here. So thanks to you, little bud. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting. I... You're, you, <laughs> you have, um, oh, okay, let me start by saying this. This is for love and relationships, but there's other messages that are coming through. You have a lot, a lot of protection around you right now. You may feel like you're disconnected from spirit or that spirit is far away or that there's that option but you also may get a sense that you are guided spirit is close um you might be relying on astrology a lot and you might be feeling the divine through the realms of astrology or even though you may not necessarily sense like it's not the closest like you might not feel an intimate connection with the divine right now you still have a general sense that you're being protected and look at looked after and watched over um There's like a, it's funny, you might be someone, like for me personally, as I'm looking at this, I get a sense like if this was my pile, I would normally feel closer to the divine. Like I would feel like, okay, I'm getting a lot of messages or hearing the voice of the divine, but it's almost like there's like, it's like quiet, but you, you're not panicking over it. You're, you're, you're very accepting of it. Like you... You're going with the flow, like you're going with the spiritual flow of things. And of course, maybe there's a desire for there to feel like even more close to the divine, but you're not worried about it. You're not panicked over it. You know that spirit is still looking out for you. The divine is still looking out for you. There's not a concern here. There's also an emphasis on checking your astrology chart or studying astrology, looking towards the stars or looking toward like a higher connection. Also, um, this pile, you might be look interested in like Akashic records or some type of spiritual study that is ancient. Nova, come here. Nova. I just gave her a bath and she chooses to sit in the dirt. Fine. This pile has a lot of distractions. Maybe that's something that's happening in your life or maybe it's just my reality right now. And here comes Franklin with the coughing. Okay, um, the other message that is I'm getting for this pile that I really is really standing out to me is the fact that you are very protected, protective, I should say, very protective. You're keeping your cards real close. You're not revealing a lot of yourself to others. 
you if you're in a relationship right now you're not this is not something that you're going to your friends and talking to them about they may be curious or wanting to come in they a lot of these a few people are in your circle but a lot of people aren't even people who would normally like your family and your friends they're on the outskirts I don't think that people want to harm you. I think that you're just very protective of yourself, your relationship, your connection, as you should be. I also get a sense of um, travel for this pile. Movement, like movement. If you're not in a relationship, there's a strong chance that you might meet someone significant while traveling. I don't see this as someone in your neighborhood. I see it as someone far away. Like there's like a common ground, like a meetup, like a... Like you guys have like a commonality and it brings the two of you together and then you bond over that. If this is in a current relationship, there's something that you guys have in common that you share and that's how you bond. I, I don't know why I'm getting a strong sense of like feeling misunderstood and that's one of the reasons why you don't share so openly because you feel like this connection might be misunderstood or you don't want to share it with others so that misunderstanding can happen. Also I just feel like you're not trying to share. I think the word for building. You're trying to prevent outside energies from influencing this connection, this relationship. If you're manifesting in your love relationship right now or love life, you are you don't want anything to impede actually where is masculine? Yeah, is there, okay, interesting that masculine is not here. Am I missing? Okay. So, or maybe masculine energy is on a trip or gone or something. Absent. Maybe that's why there's like a misunderstanding, not a misunderstanding, but maybe there's why there's like additional protection. I feel like masculine energy is in the space of like major, major evolving, like really evolving. They're not going to be the same person. This may also be your masculine um, energy. Your masculine nature is actively um, transitioning, not transitioning, but evolving right now in such a great way that they're not even, you're not even going to be the same person. This is how you go after life. And maybe this is why you're so protective because you, do you see how long it took me to even get the flow of things? It's like seven minutes into your reading and I'm still like, but, um, you're holding, there's, you're in a, sp a space right now of transformation, like huge transformation, huge transition. And you're really protective of that, or the divine is really protecting of you, to the point where your masculine energy right now is vacant, like disappeared, like gone. You might be in a relationship and people don't even know it, or if you do, it's not something that you talk about. You keep it off the record. You're not like posting it or sharing it. But I feel, I do get a strong sense of, if there's, if you're in a relationship right now, um, you might be going through some ebbs and some flows, um, but Spirit is saying to find your common ground. Or that's advice that Spirit wants to give to you is find the common ground with your masculine energy. If you are manifesting your relationship, this person is undergoing a major transition right now, major transformation. So they're... This process will go to serve your relationship when you guys come together, but also it's... It goes beyond that, extends beyond that. I just heard that you'll hear from them soon. So if this is someone that you haven't met, you're gonna get a dream of them, or there's gonna be a sign or a signal of them. If this is your, if you're in a current relationship right now, you're gonna hear, of course there's communication happening between you guys, but you're gonna hear something significant about the their plan. So I don't know if they're working on 
their ambition or something, or maybe you're working on your ambition, you're going to hear something about this process, not just fr from them. Like you're going to hear something or receive a sign, a, a very clear sign of what the, what is happening with masculine energy. Like what, what to expect. For some of you guys, you might have a huge question mark over this relationship, this connection right now of like, where are we going? Where are we headed? What do you choose? You're going to find out real, really, really soon. I think that's why also that you're keeping everything real close to you and tight. Also, I, w I need to bring it back to the beginning. Remember how I said that it feels like the divine is really far away from you? Have you brought in spirit into this connection or are you afraid to bring it to the divine because you're afraid of how much this situation will change once you invite the divine closer in? Do you know when you like pray, sometimes when you have concerns about praying because you feel like as soon as you pray everything is going to change and you know it's for your betterment but you just want to hold on to it for a little longer it's kind of like that energy that I'm getting. I also feel like there's some got there's some sisters like goddess sisterhood here that actually wants to help you I just think that you might be closed off a lot of this energy is very closed off. A part of it is very protected, but a part of it is guarded in the sense that you're not really allowing closeness in. And there's a reason for that. You're protecting your future. You're very guarded about your future. I also don't feel like you want a fresh start or a new beginning. So you're resisting change right now. I'm also hearing the fact I'm also hearing Spirit say that it's understandable, but it's also unavoidable. And I feel like there's this level of like grace that the Divine is giving to you right now that they're just like, okay, we'll let you take your time with this, but also know that at some point you have to give it to me. You also have a strong connection to ancestors. There's um, an ancestor specifical, specific that is uh, very, I, I keep wanting to say dormant, but quiet. Like when things, when hardship happens, they kind of go within themselves. They retreat within themselves. Uh, they're also very hands-on. So they're, this is either their actual traits or tendencies, or this is How they approach a problem they want to fix it like they want to be the ones to fix it you're very similar i also just heard let love in let love in you have i don't know if you guys notice this but you keep having these little clusters there's someone here guys i know that you're closed off right now but there's someone or something here that wants to come in and help you. And it's interesting because I don't necessarily see it as a person. I see it as a spirit within a person. So sometimes when we need help or when angels come or want to come to us or the divine wants to come to us and we're not totally open to their energy, they will bring, they will inspire within a person that feels safe to us the action that they wish to take. So I feel like you might be guarded right now, but there is, there's actually a lot of help for you. And it more, it, it's almost as if you, t if you talk about it, if you pray about it, then you're going to start seeing some change, like change will be initiated. Things will start to shift and to change and to evolve. I just think that you might be resistant to that change right now. I keep hearing the word dormant. You would allow, you would rather like lay low or allow yourself to rest. And this is, I think, not a fear of success, but a fear of things changing. Even though you know that it's for the betterment, it's like, what is it gonna cost me? I also keep hearing about a trip. Taking a trip will help you to refresh your mind. Something about staying too long in the same position ends up being poison. Yeah, guys, you keep having little clusters. People, your angels and your guides, your ancestors, etc., they are really rallying around you. I 
I want to say that a part of you feels very closed off from prayer. Or magic or intention. Or a part of you, it's like if you're going to your altar, you're giving some, but you're not giving all. So something about you is, is closed off. Okay, let's talk about love again. Let's just go back to the love. I don't know. I, I think the masculine energy just feels really... Um, Yeah, you were so protective. You won't even let me. Okay, I respect it. I will say that you're going to hear real soon. You are going to hear really, really soon a message of what is meant to happen within this connection or meant to happen within this love life, within your love life. And even though you may not be necessarily open to it right now, you're going to hear it. Me uh, messages have a mystical way, a magical way of making themselves known, and that's exactly what's going to happen. This is not, um, this isn't like a curse or anything scary or creepy or something to be afraid of or whatever. It, it's not even anything to resist. It's going to be good, but it will require change. This connection, I want to say that you're undergoing some major, masculine energy is undergoing some ma some major transformation and transition right now and feminine energy the feminine part of you knows that and senses it but is resistant to it and spirit is giving you a grace period where you're allowed to be quiet for it for the time being but soon things will change and um, you can sense it. I think you're just holding on to it they want you to ground yourself and center yourself in the meantime so that you don't feel so destabilized or threatened by change Also, the divine is asking that you allow them in and to talk about your relationship so that they can help move this forward in the way that it that it should. Let's go ahead and like pull a card for you just really quickly. Let's see. Yep, page of cups. You're gonna hear soon. See, it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. Page of cups is notoriously very, very sweet. Let's pull another. Yep, Nine of Cups. It's exactly what it is that you want. I think you're just closed off. I think you're just... Maybe with Nine of Cups and... Maybe Nine of Cups energy and Page of Cups and also the way that the bones have been falling. I think you're just trying to enjoy this moment. You don't want it to change or to shift. There could also be like a fear of the future. I forgot to mention that. A few times during this reading, there might be a fear of the future or a fear of aging. Masculine energy might be afraid of aging or changing. So it's like you guys are just kind of locked in and just like, nope, let's not move. Or there might be like, okay, things are good as they are, so we don't want to shift it. it we're just going to stay here. And Spirit's like, you can stay here for a minute, but things are ultimately going to shift and change, and it's for the betterment. Yeah. You're going to have some info. Mas mas I don't even think it's masculine energy specifically but masculine energy within you and masculine energy period is um has some interesting developments coming on with work things are going to start happening really rapid fire so maybe that's another thing too that you guys are just like enjoy what you guys have in common enjoy what it is that you love now before things start picking up also bring your your concerns and what you need all of that to the divine to your angels and your guides because they're here to help you and there is a, a little distance between you and them right now. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. Always in the mix. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm so sorry to this pile. I know I've, I've been like rocking around and there's been a lot of distractions. I don't know what's going on, but um, I appreciate you. And if there's any questions that, is that you have or if you need help with working your magic or if you need to work magic, period, um, you can find me at bahadilife.com, okay? Talk to you later, bye.